protests around the country and University of South Africa students are also joining in on those protests. And earlier on, there were burning tires uh, just at the entrance to the campus in Pretoria. ETV News and sports reporter Bulele Chwiti Jones is joining me now for an update on that particular protest. And Bule, you are about to be in conversation with the leadership of the SRC at UNISA. What, with the grievance around the initial intention to reduce number um, intakes, uh, intake numbers uh, of students by about 20,000, an intention that was halted dead on its tracks uh, by a court following an application by the EFF. Definitely, um, Tulus, as well as the Black Lawyers Association chapter, which um, had, have had the High Court set aside the order, humbling the UNISA management. Now, what does this mean? Is that um, the intake of students has to be, um, of course, increased as per usual. These, of course, are new students coming in to register. That, and those are some of the demands by um, the SASCO leadership. But most importantly here, what we know is that there is a meeting currently happening between uh, SASCO and some of the members of the EF. On the table, we've been told, is a way forward, which includes the possibility of marching to the union buildings. This could be um, the repetition of what we saw um, about in 2015, where you know there was a mass protest of students joining forces to have their demands answered. I'm just going to be joined now by the Secretary General of uh, SASCO, um, Amugelani, of the SRC, sorry, um, Amugelani. Thank you very much for joining me um, this afternoon. So. You guys, of course, now in talks about what's the way forward. If you could just give us a bit of detail as to um, what you guys have been discussing about. Yeah, no, thanks again. Uh, motive forces of the struggle, uh, our student leaders, our students, they are currently in a meeting right now, uh, which includes all formations uh, in our university, uh, to speak about the unity of purpose. And you would have seen that earlier in the morning they've been united, they went to the boardroom again to emphasize the issue of unity because the issue of unity is very paramount important uh, in this uh, national shutdown. We need all forces to be united. So I was in the meeting. I just came out now to uh, just give a briefing that the uh, motive forces of our struggle, mainly student leaders, are intact in terms of uh, uh, our unity. Take us through the court case as well. Um, have you guys welcomed the decision by the High Court to actually set aside the court application that would have halted the intake or a number of intake of first-year students here at UNISA? Look, we are, we are extremely happy and uh, we welcome the court uh, judgment, the court ruling. Uh, it means a lot to us. We are very happy that uh, indeed the 20,000 students will now be registered uh, in the university. Uh, we are happy that uh, uh, the court has indeed indicated that uh, uh, some people in the university and in DHEAD, they are sitting in, on top of their brains, they are not thinking, uh, because when you look at that 20,000 uh, students that were excluded by these directives of blatant demand, 20,000 students are equivalent of a university on its own. And here we are speaking about black marginalized uh, students who are there in deep rural areas who will be sitting and doing nothing. So the court has uh, really assisted us and uh, we are saying that that court judgment is a victory for all UNISA students. It's a victory for all our societies and our communities uh, in the country. Amakirani, one a question that has been on the table as well. What's the way forward in terms of the unity between you guys, DASO, and of course the EFFC? Will you guys be coming together, joining forces to actually bring one message across to the relevant authorities? Absolutely. We are working uh, together with uh, DASO, we are working together with the uh, EFF Student Command, we are working together with PASMA, we are working together with uh, BLASK, we are with, working together with ULSA, we are working together with ANC Youth League, SASCO and all formations to make sure that uh, we rally behind the struggle. And we are going to continue to shut down even in tomorrow. We are happy that in all our regions in the country there is a total shutdown. There is no any movement. No one is allowed to come to campus except of student leaders who are, um, are allowed to come to campus. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. There you go, Tulas. Um, the message is quite clear that you know all relevant parties will be coming together now, joining forces to make sure that they have one message sent to the relevant officials. Most importantly, they've also um, now being satisfied with the High Court decision that says the intake of you know first-year students to actually register will continue. So as the story develops, we'll be hearing much more of what is unfolding and coming from that meeting that's currently being had as to a way forward from tomorrow.
All right, that's e ETV News and Sports reporter Pulele Triti Jones, live for us from UNISA there on your right of your screen.